The world of cheap action cameras is pretty crowded and most of them look very similar. The Xiaomi Maija looks a little bit different and it has a true 4K video recording and some other great features for just about 90 bucks. My name is Linus and here's the Techline HD review. As always, you'll find all the links, camera samples and discount codes down below the video. The camera comes with just a micro USB cable for charging and instruction manual. You don't get any accessories like with some other budget action cameras, which is kind of disappointing. In terms of the design, the Xiaomi Maija has a metal frame that goes all around the device. However, that frame is covered with a quality textured plastic which is really nice to the touch and it makes the device look premium. The camera lens ring is made out of metal and overall, the build quality is excellent. Obviously, the device is compact and lightweight, just like most of the action cameras. A Sony sensor has a wide-angle lens to fit more stuff into the shot than, for example, your smartphone's camera. We have a record button, a loudspeaker, and a mic on the top. I love that the charging part is covered with a nice sliding flap. What I don't like is that we don't have the USB Type-C port. You can access a battery and the microSD card slot by opening the battery compartment. Also, there is a quarter-inch thread to mount the camera on tripods or attach any accessories. The display is both good and bad. Good because you can easily control the camera using a touchscreen panel, which is sharp enough for everyday use. Bad because the sunlight visibility is not that great. Also, the viewing angles could be a lot better, but this is a budget action camera after all. The user interface is pretty straightforward. You can select from video, time-lapse video, slow motion, photo and other modes. You can also view the videos you shot and this feature works well but if you crank up the volume to the maximum, the loudspeaker starts distorting the sound. You can also adjust some settings like video resolution. I mainly use 4K at 30 frames per second, but keep in mind that electronic image stabilization and lens distortion compensation features only work in 1080p mode. You can also adjust a few image settings like exposure and white balance and play with some other settings. The Mi Home app allows you to control the camera remotely, but as usual to all action cameras, there is a slight input lag. Other than that, I found the app to be working fine. No connect activity issues and you can adjust all the settings just like on the camera itself. However, it takes quite a bit of time to download the video to your phone via the Wi-Fi but you can stream that video without any issues or delays. The 4K video quality is really good considering the price of the camera. Keep in mind, however, that I could only test it under bad weather conditions, when it was cloudy and raining. I'm sure the results will be even better on a nice and sunny day. The only problems that I have with 4K video are that you can't turn off lens distortion and there are visible video compression artifacts. Also, the footage may be a little bit shaky but if you use a gimbal like I did in a few shots, you can get really nice and smooth looking video. I used the Xeon Rider M to test this camera out. I will leave a product link of this gimbal in the video description down below. 1080p video has less detail but the reason why you may want to use it is because the electronic image stabilization does a decent job reducing the shakiness. Again, I recommend you using a gimbal to make the most out of this or any other camera. Still image quality is quite good too. Some of the shots could be more detailed but again, I tested the camera on a cloudy day. Low light is where this camera collapses but this is what you have to expect at this price point. There is a lot of grain and noise in the video and in the pictures. Finally, the sound recording quality is decent but it could be better. This is yet another video test with a Xiaomi Maija 4K action camera. And I'm recording in 4K and at 30 frames per second and this is absolutely handheld footage meaning that this is another video test with a Xiaomi Maija 4K action camera and this is 1080p at 30 frames per second and I turned on the electronic image stabilization meaning that 
There is also 720p at 200 frames per second slow motion video mode, but the quality of footage is quite bad. The battery life on this little camera is just great. You can record up to 2 hours of 4K footage, which is a very impressive result. The charging time of 1 hour and 40 minutes is not the best, but you can always buy a spare battery and replace it on the go. Overall, the Xiaomi Maija is probably the best budget action camera in terms of the 4K video and picture quality. Also, the camera is well built and compact, it has a great battery life, decent electronic image stabilization in 1080p video mode, and a touchscreen display. Finally, the Mi Home app works fine. However, the Xiaomi Maija struggles in low light, slow motion video quality is terrible, the display has poor viewing angles, and the loudspeaker distorts at the maximum volume settings. Finally, you don't get any accessories in the retail packaging like with some other budget action cameras. At the end of the day, I would still pick the Xiaomi Maija over the majority of other cheap action cameras since it offers probably the best image quality for the price and I can live with these shortcomings considering the fact that this camera does not even cost 100 bucks. But what do you guys think about this action camera? Drop me a comment down below and also like the video if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. It was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.